when people wonder what is AI, they think about robots. 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 Let's make a distinction. The robot itself is hardware. AI is software. What is artificial intelligence? Systems that mimic, perhaps even go beyond, our own ability to think and to process information. It determines who we want to date, whether we get a certain kind of loan operating at all levels of our economy, in the political realm, in the judicial system, employment practices, in the educational system. All of these decisions help to determine how well or how poorly our lives go, and increasingly, AI is involved in those decisions. We are right to be concerned when we are just now learning to think about the social and ethical implications of using AI. So many of our own stories are about the relationship between the creation and the creator. So we're at this inflection point right now. Suddenly, all of this data, these algorithms, and the computational power is available. And that's really been the breakthrough. Things are becoming real that we've talked about, we've dreamt about for decades. AI which can do a very specific, narrow task. That can recognize voice, navigate a car, translate language. And if this is going to be the ubiquitous tool... We're doing ourselves a disservice by not educating the general population also on what is really going on right now. We have so many immediate concerns about the kind of AI that will be developed that we really need to devote most of our educational efforts to those kinds of problems. Artificial intelligence uses a massive amount of data to recognize certain kinds of patterns that are correlated with a successful result. Hidden in these vast pools of data that we're now using are remarkable opportunities to run off the rails. So we have to be careful about the data we give it. Data. 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 Data, data can be bad because it's not been properly labeled, because it's inaccurate, because it has baked into it certain human biases that are naturally a part of society. One clear example of data bias is the use of algorithms to make decisions about the fate of prisoners. If you have enough data points, you should be able to judge a person's likelihood of reoffending. Well, the problem is, if there is bias hidden in the data, your outcome in the judicial system may be very different than someone who's upper middle class and white. Why is it projecting higher risk scores onto black defendants? It often turns out that the algorithm itself isn't feeding on any data that's explicitly labeled in terms of race. A zip code doesn't tell you anything about a person's race. What the machine learns is, ah, People in this zip code are more likely to be criminal, when in fact it may just be that they're more likely to be black or poor or any other category that is a subject of biased practices. These technologies will actually reinforce some of the worst aspects of our society, which is really a great tragedy because the technology has the potential to actually do exactly the opposite. Machines aren't racist, machines aren't sexist, machines aren't ableist or classist. We are. Our biases will get not only embedded in this one program, but get scaled out rapidly. Silicon Valley has been a magnet for all the world's best, but it also tends to be dominated by white males. AI has a white guy problem. It's going to be crucial for us to have different kinds of diversity to be part of the development of AI. Who builds these AI systems and what data are we using in them is vital. What I see is a generation that takes all kinds of life instructions from its device, whether it is where to go to eat Korean barbecue or who to marry. It all comes magically out of the palm of your hand from an algorithm that you know nothing about. Who's behind that screen? Who's on the other end of the wire? What are the motivations of the algorithm? People no longer even even think to ask, it's just so convenient. That ability to predict and then modify our behavior, perhaps even without us fully understanding why or how. If you want the machine to behave in an ethical manner, you have to know why it does what it does. Part of the transparency is, transparency. Transparency. is to be able to explain the logical steps that it went through to arrive at a certain recommendation. When we are training these machine learning algorithms, we're supplying it a million pictures of cats. And we just say, that's a picture of a cat. 
We don't say that's a picture of a cat because of the ears and the tail, the whisker and the nose and all that. The machine itself starts to recognize that such and such is a cat and such and such is not a cat. We don't actually know how the circuit has reached that particular set of conclusions. Hot dog, not hot dog, whatever, that's funny. Fire missile, not fire missile, that's not funny. The particular nature of the technology that's being rolled out, they're so complex and they operate on such large data sets that the function of the algorithm is largely eluding the designers. And maybe that's part of the regulation that will be built around AI. You cannot explain what this program has done. It just should not be released to humankind. And there is this movement starting where more and more people say, well, we need to be able to audit this. We need to be able to understand what's going on. We're about to bump into things that we really have not thought about as a human species. The notion that you can interact with a bot on the internet and it can affect your propensity to vote one way or another is a tremendous threat to democracy. Autonomous weapons is a terrifying concept. Drones with smart algorithms being turned into weapons. There is a legitimate fear that the power of artificial intelligence will be disproportionately put in the hands of the already powerful. Should we give it to the rich because they can afford it? There is a popular view that over a couple decade period, we'll have no jobs at all. It's not a binary like, do I have a job in the future or not? It's how is my job going to change? This isn't a bubble. AI is going to become a bigger and bigger and bigger part of everything. And this might be the way that we get to the stars, get to the bottom of the ocean, cure cancer, fix climate change. The world is getting better, and these technologies are enabling that. At its best, it's going to solve all of our problems. And at its worst, it's going to be the thing that ends humanity. We must develop responsible and safe practices before the power gets too unmanageable for us to control. Whose responsibility is it? Is it corporations, government, is it society? And it's really all of us. It would probably be scientists and technologists who say, I'm not gonna let any consideration stop me from my investigation of the world we live in. We all have to together say, is that a road we wanna go down? Human responsibility for human power. You shouldn't be okay with us making all the rules. The New Manhattan Project is not AI development. The New Manhattan Project is AI safety. The more that they take on characteristics of our own cognitive processes, the more that raises our responsibility as their creators, as their trainers, to constantly be vigilant and asking ourselves, how should I be doing this work? Technology by itself is not good or bad. If AI is done right, it's all going to make us better humans.